So here is a recipe that is super delicious. I make it about three times a month. It's very easy to make. And I hope that you can give it a try soon. This is a Thai curry. And I like to serve it with brown rice. And you can use so many different things out of your produce drawer and your refrigerator. You can be flexible with this and make it your own. Now I'm going to add a couple of special ingredients to this, which you do not need to do. I'm grabbing some lemongrass and some kaffir lime leaves out of my garage, which is where I overwinter my plants in the winter to keep them protected from the cold. And we're going to use a couple of box of this coconut milk here which is really good I love this coconut milk we'll use two boxes that'll give you two cups and then I like to get this little variety pack of curry paste um, I'm going to use green today but it comes in red yellow green mazaman and Penang curry so um, the ingredients I just picked from my garden are in this paste that's why I said you do not have to use any kind of special ingredients in here the stalk of lemongrass I got, I smashed it and that so it will release the flavors. And then my kaffir lime leaves, I'll just gently tear those and put those in there whole like that. So it'll be easy to remove at the end. And then about six cloves of garlic, which I keep in my freezer in one of those little bags. And I'll just throw those in here. I don't you can mince them if you want, but it's they pretty much cooked down over several hours and then this is galangal and I get that at my Asian market that too is also in this paste mix okay so you don't have to get that I just like to heighten those flavors so I get that at my Asian market in the frozen section and I'll put usually about two of those in there I also think adding maybe a little um, ginger is also good whole pieces of ginger in there now if you're wondering how to get some of these ingredients these are more authentic than what I can find at my grocery store I'll just go to Amazon and get them so you see over here I have fish sauce and I have that coconut milk and the variety pack of the curry paste uh, that curry paste is more authentic so it's got a little bit more spice a little more heat to it than the Americanized version which is in the little jar here and I get that I used to get that at the uh, grocery store that's what I would use until I found I can get it easy on Amazon but if you want something a little lighter um, as far as the heat level you might want to just go to your grocery store and you can get that of course you can also get it um, on my Amazon storefront so I'll make sure to leave you a link below where you can go over there and check that out so I'm going to use chicken breast today and you'll need about a pound and a half of chicken meat for this dish and I like to just pull them apart kind of flatten them out a little bit so it will um, cook a little bit more evenly all the way through and sometimes I will use chicken thigh meat because I can usually find that on sale the skinless boneless chicken thighs um, I find that I have to take an extra step though and trim those because there's always so much fat on them and so if you want something easy just grab chicken breast that keeps this very simple um, but I personally like chicken thigh meat better okay so I have the sauce mix going and I have my meat in there now I just want to prep a few vegetables I always have carrots in my produce drawer along with onions and peppers in my freezer so those pretty much always find their way into this dish this little julienne vegetable peeler makes the carrot real pretty so I think I have that on my one of my Amazon storefronts too like the kitchen tools or something and I'll take those pills those will go to my chickens I'm just cut them up to make them a little more manageable and then here are our carrots so in go the carrots the onions and then some frozen bell peppers from the summer harvest well I'll let that cook down probably four to five hours and then I want to fish out the chicken breast meat and um, also the two pieces of the gall and gold that I put in there I always remember how much I put in there because I don't want to bite into that later and then I'll get out the lemongrass stalk and the kaffir lime leaves now I can flavor this sauce a little bit I'm going to add some of the fish sauce about a tablespoon we'll mix it in real good and then I want to give it a taste to make sure it's where I want it not too weak not too strong and it was perfect 
And so now I'm just going to add a, a handful of whole cashews. I really like cashews in here. And like I said, you can make this your own. It, you can be very flexible with the ingredients. In addition to what I'm showing you, I also sometimes like to add a couple of tablespoons of a dark brown sugar or a tablespoon of some kind of nut butter. It can be peanut butter or cashew butter. That really makes this good. Bamboo shoots are really good as well. And then if you have some seasonal things coming in from the garden, like in the fall, I might use spinach leaves or cabbage leaves, broccoli. Um, I might use in the summer some green beans or perhaps some summer squash like zucchini. Now for the mazaman curry, I like to make it just a little bit different. I will add beef to that. I'll get stew meat perhaps. I'll use onions and potatoes along with cashews and then I'll at the end I will serve it with chunks of fresh cut avocado. So that's a really good dish there and very rich but wonderful. <laughs> what we're going to do now that the chicken breast has cooled is I want to just tear it a little bit instead of chopping it. I'll, I'm tearing it because it will have little nooks and crannies in the air and hold that sauce better than if I were to chop it which it has a nice clean edge and it doesn't hold sauce as well. So it doesn't look as pretty but it, it makes it so much better I think to just tear it. So I serve it here with a little bit of the brown rice and then if I have a lime, I like to finish it with a little bit of citrus juice there. And then I usually have cilantro and green onions in the garden. So I'll grab those along with some tomatoes maybe, a uh, cherry tomato here and there. And there you have it. It is so delicious. I hope you guys can give this a try. I hope you enjoy it as much as um, we enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.